Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, super bummed. Before you start this video, I want to preface that the taillights are back in the box. I'm returning them. Um, installed the stock taillights back onto the car. You can use this install video. The wiring guide is listed here. How to do the wiring. I put that all into this video after this little clip. Um, but just real quickly, some people haven't had problems with these taillights. I had problems with them. I installed them correctly. I had wired them correctly into the car according to the diagram. Follow the instructions and you'll see it gets to the point to where we're testing everything. Everything's functioning correctly. Everything's working correctly. And then all of a sudden in the, the front of the car, it, we smelled an electrical burn and a little bit of smoke starting over in here. So I quickly disconnected the, the positive terminal and just wired the stock taillights back into the car. So yeah, take that as you will. I might have gotten a defective set. I'm not going to risk anything on this car putting those taillights in. I'm sure other people have had good luck with them. Uh, I did not. I'm going to return them. I put my review on Amazon for the taillights. So it is what it is. You guys are welcome to watch the rest of this video. I did the install guide. You know, showed you guys the fitment. All that information that I think would be helpful. Hope you guys get some use out of this video. I'm super bummed, but it is what it is. Enjoy. Hey, what is going on guys? I'm here to show you guys something awesome that got delivered today and it's about the Fiesta. We're gonna be installing a new product that just hit the market, it seems, maybe about a month or so ago, but there's been some rumblings. These bad boys just got delivered today. Let's go ahead and unbox them. Obviously there is a China Post label there's no denying that these came from China. So the, the Fiesta stopped production in 2019 here in the US. Uh, the overseas regions got the overseas regions got the Mark 8 Fiesta. We weren't so lucky. We got a Maki -E and um, some other crap that we didn't want. But my whole point is that for a platform that isn't really produced anymore, it's very rare to get um, products, new products, to come to market for a platform like that. So let's take a look at these. Um, packaging, I would say it's okay. Um, there's nothing fancy about this packaging. <laughs> let's take a look. For 09 to 15 year Ford Fiesta tail lamp. Obviously they went to 19. Uh, one of the things that I've been reading on the forums is you have to switch from the, the female connectors to male connectors, I believe. Um, running light, reversing light, turn signal, translated, plugged in, turn signal, driving lights, dynamic, unplugging, no running water for turn... <laughs> no running water for turn signal, no dynamics for running lights. I have no idea what any of that means, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take these out of the box. Um, overall, the weight, I mean, they're, they're pretty light, but you wouldn't assume that they would not be very heavy. Now, for those of you that are wondering, even the top manufacturers source their lights from overseas. Now, they work closely with them, and, you know, there's a lot of quality control and adjustments um, on how uh, the lights function and perform. But, uh, these were purchased on Amazon. So, right tail light. All right, so it's got your harness. Oh, this is a male harness. Um, we're gonna take a look at the stock tail lights. We're gonna take them out and see what we need to do. Overall though, I mean, they look, they look okay. Um, it's got a nice little protective film on it. Let's go ahead and take this off and see. Condition, uh, really nice. They look really good. Um, this is the right tail light, so let's go ahead and kind of line it up over here. Compared to the stock lens, this is what it looks like. It's got a nice little honeycomb in the tail light that matches up really well with uh, the rear diffuser there. On tuxedo black, I think it looks really good. Um, not bad. So let's go ahead and open the trunk here 
and start taking these lights out and I'm going to show you guys the the comparison for the stock tail light with these aftermarket ones. I actually have the new light installed on the driver's side. Tested functionality, everything works great. Brake lights work, turn signals, reverse lights. There's no hyper flashing, which is good. Now I'm finishing up the wiring on the passenger side. Now you can kind of take a look at how I'm doing it. Now I'm going to put a a picture over here to the right of the the wiring on how to do it. And I'm going to you guys can pause it if you want to screenshot it um, or whatever you want to do. But that is the wiring. Now it seems like for certain year models. Um, certain Fiestas have different color coding on their taillight harness. So it's a good idea to check this guide and use this guide to splice in the wires. So as you see, I'm actually putting this, uh, this solder joint onto the wiring. You can see it kind of shrinks. And once it gets hot enough, it's going to release a little bit of solder on that, that section. All right, so I see the solder just go ahead, went ahead and popped. Um, and then I'm, I'm using this uh, black uh, shrink wrap uh, to put it over it. Uh, be careful when you're, you're doing this. I'm going to have to maybe cut a little slit in this one just because it, it caught a little bit of the heat. But uh, seal up your wiring really good. You don't want that stuff to be exposed uh, when you put everything back into the car. Um, so there you go. It's over that joint. And she's sealed up. So I'm going to finish up this wiring harness. And I got to say, you guys are going to be stoked. These look really good, especially on Tuxedo Black. I picked the uh, smoked one. Yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. So let me finish up this wiring harness and install these lights. And then the next uh, little bit, we're going to show you what the sequences look like. And we're going to kind of get up close to the fitment and how everything looks. All right, so another thing I forgot to mention is this little screw, pin, whatever, um, it aligns to the a different year of a Fiesta. I'm not sure which year, but you're going to want to remove that. Um, it's not going to be needed. So I removed on the other side. You're going to feed this through. You're going to want to align the alignment pins and then snap it in. Goes in nice and flush and uh, everything lines up correctly. So it's really nice. I'm, I'm really kind of surprised at the, the fitment and how well everything lines up. Some people think these are really expensive, but um, compared to other vehicles you're not really paying that much for a replacement set of taillights um, taillights for other vehicles even headlights can range way over a thousand dollars for different platforms everything lines up really good overall everything fits really well against the body everything lines up there's no weird fitment this could maybe be a little bit further in, but overall, I mean, it's a Fiesta, right? I mean, overall, you have to really be running your finger through to feel any type of difference, but I would give the fitment like an eight out of 10. There's really no, no major problems. So once you get everything through, plug in the harness. Once you plug in the harness, put everything back. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this back. And uh, we are ready to test. All right, there you go. Overall, there's how it looks. There's my beautiful wife, Azura30. She's gonna be helping. Oh, look at that startup sequence. Oh, it looks so good. This side's working well. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You know what's funny, looking at these, these look like 370Z taillights from, from the pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna back it up here. Let's go ahead and turn the ignition on. 
All right, turn the parking lamps on. Okay, startup sequence. Okay, so foot on the brake. Okay, this side works. All right, keep your foot on the brake. Okay, all right, right turn signal. All right, it's got a nice little sequential motion on the light itself. And then left turn signal, let's make sure that one works. That works as well. All right, reverse. Nice little LED, pure white reverse light. Overall, this looks absolutely fantastic. There you go. Foot off the brake. Awesome.